just want to say that uh, I'm happy to be back. I wanted to come back to the team. I wanted to, to be a Yankee again. As you all know, the reputation of the Yankees is a really good one. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. A day after the Yankees officially announced the signing of Aroldis Chapman to a five-year, $86 million contract, the hard-throwing closer reacted to rejoining the pinstripes. In addition to expressing optimism over his future in the Bronx, Chapman offered some interesting remarks regarding his former manager, Joe Madden, saying he didn't agree with how he was used in the postseason as the Cubs leaned heavily on their closer in several crucial situations. Despite his frustration, Chapman did acknowledge all he could do was pitch when he was asked to do so. He is the manager and he has the strategy, you know. My job is to be ready, to be ready to pitch, whatever that is, how, how, however many innings it is, I need to be ready for that. The day after signing a five-year extension with the Phillies, center fielder Odubel Herrera explained that he still has more room to grow. Emotions. He was very happy. You know, he still believes there's things that's going to continue to get better, and hopefully, he's going to have a successful. Move. You never know when opportunity is going to come. Come again. You know, this is a good chance for him to to, to sign a deal, and uh, sometimes uh, opportunity only comes once. So, we decide to make the decision and sign a contract. The former Rule 5 draft pick and 2016 All-Star will remain in Philadelphia through the 2021 season with the Phillies retaining club options for 2022 and 2023. The Orioles officially announced the signing of catcher Wellington Castillo to a one-year deal. Castillo, who spent a part of 2015 and all of 2016 with the Diamondbacks, gives the Orioles a new primary catcher, taking over for homegrown Matt Wieters, who had manned the position since 2008. Executive Vice President of Baseball Operations Dan Duquette believes the team acquired one of baseball's top backstops. He's been one of the top three or four catchers in terms of his uh, offensive production. He's got an excellent arm, and, and uh, last year he threw out an above average number of base stealers. He's also hit for average and hit for power and shown the capability to drive in a run. It was a key addition for our club and something we've been looking for, and, and we were glad to sign Wellington and uh, have them in the fold. The Marlins continue to revamp their bullpen as the team has reportedly agreed to a two-year deal with Brad Ziegler. The right-hander spent last season with the D-backs and Red Sox, posting a 2.25 ERA while striking out 58 batters in 68 innings. He becomes the second former Red Sox to join the Marlins' bullpen after Junichi Tozawa signed a two-year deal with Miami earlier in the week. They add depth. They know they don't have an ace. They know that the rotation is going to be asked to do its part. You know, they're not going to be able to make the front end and, and your rotation, your strength. You just kind of strengthen the strength, which was your bullpen. Almost 15 months after suffering a heart attack, Twins Hall of Famer Rod Crew underwent successful heart and kidney transplant surgeries on Friday. The seven-time batting title winner went through a 13-hour procedure in Los Angeles, and MLB.com Twins reporter Rhett Bollinger reacted to the news. To have this surgery, the organization is clearly thrilled about it. Twins president Dave St. Peter released a statement saying he's obviously very happy about the fact that Crew had successful surgery. Uh, the Twins obviously would love to have Rod Crew back in spring training this year, but obviously it's going to be quite of a recovery time. But if Crew can make it to spring training, so it'll be his 51st spring training, which would obviously mean a lot to him and the organization. For more on these stories and all the latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.